It's very ironic. The people they fight and they fuss over so many different things. The companions differ in Al-Qaeda, one person says. And the second person says they never ever differed in Al-Qaeda. The one who says that the companions differ in Al-Qaeda, supposedly, this is his intention and his goal and objective. To totally allow any and every type of difference of opinion. Don't say anything, don't refute, don't nothing, because the companions differ in Al-Qaeda. Or another person may make that statement, and his intention is... We're not saying that every difference of opinion is okay. And it's all right for us to keep silent upon things which are clearly against Quran and Sunnah, but don't cut each other's heads off. And don't fight over these trivial issues because the companions differed over Aqidah. So who are you to differ over blue and black, hands like this, hands like that? And there may be a third person may have another intention by making that statement. And then those who say, who come along on a counter, and they say, the companions never ever differed on anything in Al-Qaeda. Is that right? Is that scientifically accurate? Let's say it is, for argument's sake. What is their intention? To silence their opponents and anyone who differs with them? And which is crystal clear. This is what Sheikh Fulan said. This is what we're saying and translating. That's the bottom line. Top and bottom line, take it or leave it. And if you don't take our specific tightrope, walk, plank, of, of understanding, then you're a deviant. And then others who may come, and they may say, that's not our intention, but we don't want to open up the door of differences to the people. Something that they can't bear, something that's beyond and over their heads, etc. All right? So regardless of who's saying these statements, who's making these statements, and regardless of what they mean by these statements, the bottom line is, how about the companions differing over the Quran? Which is the foundation of what? Everything. Not just Aqidah. You understand this? Regardless, what's authentic, what it means, this and that. But the sheer fact that it what? It took place on certain issues. On what? Certain issues. Everyone understand this? So this should be a, a, an admonishment and a reminder for many people who live in that small, narrow bubble of Sheikh Fulan or Brother Fulan or Student Fulan. And that's it. And anyone who goes against this and what we say in our specific ijtihad and our made up rulings in fatawa, woman you shakika rasula min badi mata bayyana wa huda wa yatabi gaida sabir al mu'minin. Nuwali hi mata wala wa nuslihi jahannam wa sayat masir. That's the verse that they quote. It's nonsense. That's what? It's nonsense. And as we said, huh? the doorstep to the temple of wisdom is our knowledge of our ignorance. Hmm? The doorstep, not the doorway, wow. not the entrance, not the bridge, the doorstep to the temple of wisdom is our knowledge of our ignorance. For us to know that, which, that we really don't know that much. And there's a lot of studying to do, and a lot of reading to be made, and a lot of things to be memorized, and tons of revision to be done, and a lot of questions to be asked. You understand this? And that's the whole concept of what, doing what? Emptying a cup. cup. Realizing that you're ignorant. That's the path to wisdom. Everyone understand this? And there are many, 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 many other issues like this, similar to this. All types of things, whether it's Quran, Aqidah, Fiqh, Hadith, etc. Criticizing people, refuting people, taking from deviant people, taking from innovators. Many of those things we've mentioned in lectures and talks. And most of those things we, what? Have not, and we will not. 